but change that too. What the shit? Okay, let's go back to VR play then. Uh, I think I'm up and going. Wait, what did you do? Done. Okay. Let's assume that I'm live, because it looks like we are live. Hop back over to the channel. Hey folks, welcome aboard. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Nick, and I am another bearded white dude on Twitch. And it's a little bit of a mess at the moment. Usually I would do... Let's see. Is that any better? No. Okay. <laughs> it's not working as well as I'd like it to be. That's okay. Anyway, thank you all for joining me today. Again, I'm Nick. All's well. And uh, we are going to try Moss today. I know this is real blurry. It's because the camera is way over there on my desk. Uh, let me actually turn off my special stuff I have going on here. Uh, there you go. So we're just getting started for Moss. I know this isn't the usual screen resolution. Bear with me. Thank you for your patience. Uh, this is the fun of, of, of technical uh, productions like this. This one's especially technical because uh, longtime viewers will remember from my Half-Life Alex playthrough, I'm actually going to be in the corner of your screen this way. Uh, it's so weird right now. This way. I'm going to be in the corner. You'll be seeing me in the corner hidden. And uh, like, for example, let's take a look. Here we go. VR play. Yeah. So here's my little window. That's cool. And I go over here to background removal. There you go. So in case you're wondering also the little thumb image of me, like where did that come from? That's kind of where that came from, from just me being silly on camera. Uh, so we're going to play Moss. Uh, VR game. We hadn't done one of these in a while. It's weird how I have that up, but I won't be able to tell what's going on. Uh, let me grab my little chat window here, move it over here. Because when I play, let's see, I'm going to look in this chat window from time to time. Uh, not as often as I usually would during a, a more normal stream for obvious reasons. So that should be pinned now, I hope. And uh, that's pretty much all I need to really say. I'll hang out here for another couple minutes. Uh, you're not missing a whole lot. There's a whole lot of nothing happening. Uh, so this is... Oh, what game is this? Nox is here. Yay. Oh, and I see you up here too. Double the Nox. Okay. Uh, so this one... Let's, let's, let's jump over to stream. I'm sorry, Steam VR. We're not quite ready for you yet, Moss. We're not quite ready, but we're close. Let me actually quit that app. Let's quit Steam, and then I can open back up. So we're going to go to library, and then we're going to go to open here. As you can see, Moss was opened 30 minutes ago. Uh, you're not missing anything. We only just got started. And you're still over here. Drag you over here. That's about right. Moss looks so cute. Well, Moss is... Well, uh, here's I haven't actually seen Moss move yet in-game. Uh, as you will see, when we open the game, it takes place... Well, the, the very beginning is in a library. So I haven't actually been personally introduced to Moss' character yet. Uh, but I'm sure Moss is downright cuddly. Let's head back over to CMVR. And uh, I usually do a... Uh, how do I want to describe it? I usually do five minutes of nonsense before we get into the game. And I actually don't remember if I showed this. Uh, you have to go back, way back, all of like three months ago when we started our Half-Life Alex playthrough. There is one part in the playthrough, and I'll go ahead and pull that up here since we got a minute. At the very beginning of the game, uh, you are going through all the little apartments uh, I guess that's Alex's home or where she works. I'm not quite sure. And uh, let me know always if my audio is too loud or too soft. I actually need to change the audio in my headset real quick. That won't take just a moment. Because I, I do quality assurance checks on all of these before I get started. So I need to change all it. Of these before I get started. Oh, there I go. So I need to change all it. Of these before I get started. Oh, there I go. There, mute. That's so much better. I muted myself. Uh, okay. So we're looking good so far. Double check my chat. Looks good. Uh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. X that. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, my bad. Uh, we're going to do chat settings. Switch to non-mod. Uh, there was... 
There should have been a way to pop chat. Hold on. We just had this too. Maybe I need to go over here and then go to chat here. Maybe I need to go over here and then go to chat here. Maybe I need to... <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, switch to non mod. Here we go. Pop out chat. Yay. Oh, God. We're chugging. I can see it in my... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Please don't die, stream. There you go. All right. We're going to give it a little turn if I can. Huh? That's fine. All right, so that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. All this stuff is fine. There's this, hello, internet. All right, please don't die stream. <laughs> uh, that's the problem, I won't know. So we're gonna get back to what I was talking about in the lab in the very beginning of Half-Life Alex, and of course, we're right on the thing. Uh, so we don't wanna play intro, we're gonna go ahead and go straight to start. So I love that this is sort of an Easter egg and it kind of pays itself forward and backward. What do I mean by that? Well, if you look at the factory, you may remember some of these guys. Uh, these are the little characters on the Portal 2 uh, loading screens. Like whenever you enter a lobby in the elevator lobby for the start of each level, there are these little guys. These little random stick people. So that's sort of an homage, well, it is homage to uh, Portal 2. And also, what are you on your butt for? So this little guy here, at the very, very beginning of Half-Life Alex, there is a uh, apartment that you go into and there is a clipboard. Hey, fella, oh. there's a little clipboard and it has this little guy on it. So this little guy was in Half-Life Alex. If you put your phone nearby, I can text you if stream dies and you can't see chat. Uh, I just might take you up on that, Nox. Anyway, let me finish this little point and then I'll get my phone. So this little guy, obviously, he was in the art. So there you go. So we kind of went full circle. So that's all I wanted to show, just something real quick before we get started. All right, so now I need to go to, well, what do I do next? So that's fine. Uh, let's go to exit game. There you go. And let's go home. Well, no, actually we can go straight into, actually before, oh my gosh, scratches. So let me actually do this real quick. Let me turn on my pass through, grab my phone, put it in my, oh, that's gonna be frustrating though. <laughs> it's gonna suck because if it vibrates it could be anybody but all right we'll try it i'll put the phone in my pocket i have to turn uh, a pokemon go group chat how does that work this is so weird and then face id of course doesn't recognize me can i even put in my code with this thing on yes like oh shit can i actually Pull that off. Holy shit, I actually did. So there's a pass-through mode on here with all these cameras on the face. And I can somehow actually do this shit. Uh, you know what? Let me actually pop this off real quick. I'm being cutesy, but it's not helping. All right. So we're going to, you know, go to this one, mute this one. One moment, guys. Uh, mute this chat. Oh, I... I just want to mute you for like five seconds. Mute this chat for eight hours. That's fine. Okay. Jesus. So much shit. Okay. See, there's my phone. There's my pocket. There you go. Headset comes back on. All right. I've, I've gone way too random. All right. So that's on there. Hopefully the audio is good for y'all. I have no way of checking this as we go. Uh, let me turn my audio down real quick because I know that this was way too loud for me. Uh, let's go 41. I think 41 will be okay. Actually, no, kick it up to about 46. That's fine. All right. Back into here. You're there. All right. We're going to actually play the game now. Oh. Mars. 
so fortunately, this is a game for sitting down. And I actually happen to be sitting down. And again, folks, let me know if the audio is too loud, too soft. If I'm too loud or too soft, let me know. Because I will check on that chat window from time to time. This is a seated, seated VR experience. Keep play space clear. You will reach and lean in at times during gameplay. Uh, I'm good where I'm at. There is a wall right here. Not a big problem. Uh, but the space in front of me is all nice and clear. My desk is way over, actually right here. So I got plenty of space to play in. We should be good to go. Uh, controller, so left thumbstick is move. This one is press menu, grab the, the, the triggers, recenter, all that stuff, jump, evade, attack, hold to at the same time, it's apparently both. Charger. So I, I texted our dear friend, Charlie Main, and it's like, hey, you should check this game out. We literally start in a library. Why are you ghosting on me? Okay. So the game, of course, starts in a library because it's a storybook. So, of course, we have to take in this gorgeous facility. Oh, I hope I don't have a controller dying. These are fresh batteries, or should be fresh batteries. And you have a little bit of ghost, so let's go ahead and just kind of, yeah. There you go. Now, see, I don't understand why this... Oh, okay, it's not telling me there's something wrong with the controller. It's telling me to, to turn the book. That's what it is. But uh, still, I'm sorry. This is one of the neat things with VR is that it's the immersion experience. Because even though I know this is all fake, it's different when you have it strapped on your head and you get to look around. All right. And unfortunately, I can't interact with anything here. And they really want me to get on with it, so fine, we'll open it. So it's nice how the lighting effects are like you're over here. It, it understands it. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? I just noticed that my controllers are a pair of titties. Please don't ban me, Twitch. I'm sorry. They just do. Oh, all right. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. <gasps> and that night... The animals nearly met their end. Oh no. No, I can't turn the page back. We have to keep going. First, they <gasps> killed the king. Oh shit. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Damn. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. <gasps> the king's guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the Arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, Every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus 
Commander of the King's Guard led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. Oh, that's a big fish. Better not get too close. Fish don't give a fuck about your feelings. I'm gonna check the stream real quick. I think we're doing just fine. Give it a quick look. Uh, I wanted to actually... I wanted to actually go to the thing. Hold on, how do I... Without ruining everything. Google Chrome. That doesn't help. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to figure it out, stream. One <laughs> moment. It doesn't all go according to plan. That's the point of the stream sometimes, right? I hope I don't have several instances of moss open. That would be awful. So much system demand. Uh, okay. So, that's cool, I guess. Not what I want. Okay. So, you're still there. Now, what happens if I do this? Okay, y'all are still gone. Oh, guys. <laughs> no, I know you're up next. That's the problem. I don't need you to be up next. What if I go home? Sure, quit app. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've new earned new rewards for my home. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yay. Oh, okay. Oh, now people are here. Okay. Very enthused about Magic Book. Pretty excited for this game. I'm sorry. We're just now getting back to y'all. Okay. I don't know what Chrome does. I really don't know what Chrome does. Okay. Let's keep Chrome open, kind of, maybe. I don't know. I'm just... I'm learning with y'all. We're going to figure it out. All right. Go back to Steam. <laughs> the joys of live television, right? Even though I know it's not actual TV. This is very trippy. It sure is trippy, Charlie Mane. And welcome back. I know it's been a minute. Hey, up the game audio... You troll. <laughs> you fucking troll. Uh, alright. Hold on. Uh, I can only go so much higher. Because as you see, webcam is muted. Mic is what you hear. So, VR audio, we are at max audio for VR audio. Okay. You know, I may just have to manually shut down uh, Steam and then reopen it, which is fine. It takes a minute. It's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and just do that. Let me take off the headset for a minute. Let's do that. Let's, let's switch y'all to break, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. So we're here, water break, late because you need a, a PT break. Okay, that works out. So get this open again. Actually, what I need to do, minimize that. That's fine. We're going to open this app. Oh, God, how many apps do I need open simultaneously? Can I go straight into Moss from here? We can try. It looks like it'll let me.
I mean, I already have Steam open. It should, right? Okay, cool. So it might just have us pick up where we left. Yep, sure. That's not a problem. Oh, you also said it earlier. Well, it took me a minute to get back to y'all. Uh, I hope that this works out. Because <laughs> as you see, we've been fighting this for a while. Come on. Come on. Oh, it has to be the other... There's this one and there's this one. Too many triggers. Trigger, trigger. There you go. Can I open this? We know what this is. Ma Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? I hope the audio is loud enough for you, Nox, because uh, this is as loud as it goes. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. So what happens if I do this now? Oh, that's so much better. Thank God. Okay. So there you go. So that should be pinned. If I open the desktop, let's give it a look. Nope, still does that. Okay, that's fine. Let's put you here. And again, I have no idea if this will work or not. Keyboard. I don't need a keyboard. I feel like y'all are talking. The problem is, obviously, I can't tell. Because virtual desktop only gives me this. So, I hope it works. Please forgive me in case I don't get to y'all. I'll try to check in on y'all every so often. Uh, it's just unfortunate with uh, the technology. Now, what is... What do I pin... Did that actually? No. No. Okay. Like, what did it pin? What does this gear do? I need to quit worrying about all that shit. All right. Moss. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. Here, Charlie, we got a moment. Here's the, here's the library. Behold its cathedralish glory. And I can't walk around the library, unfortunately. It's just, it just is. Here's the jig, big old study hall. Okay. And you see books everywhere, but alas, I can't get up and go pick up stuff. I can't even manipulate stuff I have around me. All right. The King's Guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the Arcane's evil. Every room was gutted. Every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, Commander of the King's Guard led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. How the hell? There's a mouse riding another mouse. Or is that a mouse on a, a hamster? No, it's a squirrel. Okay. Because there's the big tail. So it's a squirrel. Hot rodent on rodent action, everybody. Argus charged back to join the sprite champion at the mire's edge. 
Together, they fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. So here's what I'm going to do for y'all, since right now, this obviously, this chat window is not doing anything for me. It is... Where the hell did my time go? God damn it. Y'all are making this so hard. Uh, let me see if I can look at my time real quick, my actual time. But I can see y'all just fine. It's so weird. It is 526. I will check in on y'all some other way. Let me set a timer on my phone. Uh, if I can. Let's set a timer for... I have no idea what time this is. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> okay, 12 minutes. Here's a timer for 12 minutes. I will check in when that buzzer goes off in case I don't get anything blown up between now and then. And I will actually check texts. I'm sorry. I know this sucks, but uh, our technology is just not playing nice with us. So we got to work with what we got, right? All right. So, tree. Oh, shit. Now, what are you doing? That hero albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. I can actually Oh what you got here little buddy Okay you put it into your satchel Oh you're freaking out about me I guess what? She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the being silently peering oh, that's down me. at her. That's me. Hello. Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close, and night would follow. Oh, you ready to kill people? You ready to do some killing? Yeah, you are. Kill that little guy. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, we go the lighted way. Oh, this is this is a different kind of yeah. So it's it's not quite uh, what's it called? Uh, Trover. Trover is a console game you can play without VR, but the VR obviously is a nice touch. Hey, little guy. Oh, what do I do? Oh. There you go. And I guess it'll put me over there in a minute. Yep. 
Oh, look at you. You got a little staircase. And you pop up over here. What do I do with this? Well, I don't want to do that. I want to block you. Oh, you got a little scroll there. You want to get the little scroll? Yeah. Oh. Oh, we have the technology, folks. Oh, no. Well, okay. Maybe they. this is a way of the game saying there are some ways you can do that don't actually go anywhere. Uh, what happens if I do this? Uh... Okay. So what's oh. what if Night, I just have her uncle often warned was when danger was most present. Oh but oh. Heard the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Dude, this already has a lot more oh, we weren't here. This already has so much more going on. Holy crap. Yeah, this is a this is a VR platformer. So oh, oh, now I have to push it back. I get it now. We have to push it back. So Simultaneously terrific and just. <gasps> Can't tell what that was because of my window. That's okay. We're gonna go into that into that uh, log. So you're gonna come out of that log. Oh, there's a little fort. There you are. What's over that way? Can you go over that way? Wanna beat up some boxes? Yeah, fuck those boxes. Oh, there's stuff in the boxes. Yeah. This is a very fascinating, like, you're playing with toys, miniatures kind of look. It's, it's, it's really neat. It's definitely more going on than Rick and Morty. Uh, I keep calling it Rick and Morty. It's not actually Rick and Morty. More than Trover had going for it. Although I did like Trover. Well, okay, I guess. There we are. I'm gonna beat up this. I get stuff for that. I don't know what I get out of that, but I do get some stuff. Uh, I don't see like a health bar or anything. So, okay. Yeah, fuck them bottles. Well, that's something I need to do. So, I guess I need to... Go on in, little buddy. Can I... No, I can't. Don't put your sword up. Okay, fine, put your sword up. I guess it makes sense since you're going to your village. Oh, yeah. Swah. Yeah. Yeah. Get in his shit. Get in. You know what? Start some shit. Fuck you. I don't even know you. Fuck you with your little conquistador hat looking motherfucker. Fuck you. Push him in the lake. Yeah, violence. Oh, 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 oh. Well, it's kind of obvious, but uh, this mouse, like all the other mice, can't. Hello. All the other mice can't swim. So, note to self. Hello, me. Note to self, you can't swim. So where do I want you to go? Do I want you to go further down or... Talk... No, you can't. Okay, that's fine. Guess you're just going to keep following that guard. Okay. Well, keep on going down the road, I guess.
So, you got a rope, and that goes to there. Oh, there's a little lever up top. So how do I get you up there? Uh, I, I could do... Can I interact with that? I can. I can slow it down. So we're going to wait for you to get to about there. There you go. And then you come up top, and you hop up, and then you throw the little switch. Or we could actually probably have you do that. There you go. There you go. And then you climb on top. Can you climb on top of that? Kinda. Not really, kinda. Oh. Fine, we'll do it again. There you go. There you go. Climb on over. Oh, can you do something with that door? No, you can't. Can I do something with that door? I cannot. Okay. There you go. Climb up. Grab the scroll. All right, it's a pair of tidy whiteies. I knew you could do it. Whatever it was. Oh, 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 quail. Oh, goodness gracious. Tiptoeing little sassy princess. All right. Oh, now I have to stop that again. Okay. Uh, here you go. There you go. So, oh, drawbridge. Thanks to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. Oh, uh, keep it going. We'll wait for the taller flats. There you go. High five? Wait, I can actually... Uh, I can pet the mouse. Oh, there's her mount. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Well, go on in. Okay. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you have to see. Out past the bell again, he oh. scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. Let's get through this part first. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? she asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. I sure did. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can Oh, it's help. like a unicorn bull with a squirrel. Look no, at that. he snapped. They'll find it's... you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. Dun, dun, dun. 
So, is it going to take me back into the book world? No, nope, I'll not be yet. back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly. Yeah, you better. Wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. You better promise. All right. Now, I'm actually going to check up on y'all. So, one moment. Oh, look at us. We got a library coming up. Let's look at the library. Oh. We got a little library, and it got a sword on the mantle, and a shield. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh. Goodbye, mouse. Okay. Let's actually go talk to y'all now. All right. Here. Let's actually take this off for a moment. All right. Uh. Okay. Du, 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 du. Oxford Reading Vibe Room. Am I missing something? It showed chat in the game for us. It did, but it just didn't want to play nice with everything else. Uh, but I have only one functioning eye at the moment, so I can't see the issue. Well, I have two functioning eyes, and it's still fucked up for me, too. Charlie is seeing the same. Maybe it's not updating? Scurry Muzak. I, I hope the game is showing up for y'all. Uh, I hope it's working out well. I'm sure it is. But for whatever reason, the chat is not playing nice with me in the headset. But I hope everything else is going okay. Yep, Charlie's happy. Okay. So the next time I will check on y'all in chat, let's set a timer for, uh, let's go 25 minutes. I'll go ahead and bump it to 26 so I can get my stuff back on. All right. Hopefully y'all are enjoying the game so far. Uh, I did tell Charlie it has libraries and cute stuff going on. So uh, I hope it's meeting its uh, hype. I hope it's meeting and surpassing expectations. That goes here. Get the headset back on. There we go. Tighten it back up. And... Okay. And I might honestly just X out of that chat window if I can, since obviously it's not going to play nice with us. So let me see what I can do with that real quick. Yeah, we'll close that, and I'll come back to it in a little bit, and we'll try it again. All right. What does I do with virtual desktop? Nothing. So you kind of see its own weird little view. Okay. All right. Hey, kid. <gasps> kid. Wake up. Ow. Hey, Don't hurt. Kid, over here. Don't hurt, I Quill. I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick, too. We're going to need them. Quill called out. Hey, Starthing, wait. So, obviously, so, so one of Quill's characteristics is that she is a signer. She, she knows ASL. Uh, I imagine this was translated for other languages, because obviously ASL is American Sign Language, and every uh, nation, every country is going to have their own variation of it. I would think that the English ones would have a lot of similarity, but when you go into other countries and cultures, obviously the language needs to change. Uh... But it's like, so she speaks just fine, but she also does the ASL. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's a disconnect between, like, mouse and human and reader. I don't know. Okay. You found a scroll, but I don't know what the scroll does. Uh, what happens here? Uh, save data. Why not? Allows you to manage multiple games of all progress. So let's go ahead and save... Sure. Uh, oh, 
no, no. So it's saving as we go. Okay. Control settings. Uh, music, narration, sound effects. Uh, eh, we can turn on. Oh, no, no. I, I want that. Let's go ahead and turn on English subtitles. Graphical. Oh, you're on low. What happens if we bump it up to medium? Although it's very pretty as is. Let's see what happens if I bump it up to that. Uh, sure. Until the next game area loads. That's fine. Hopefully, by me bumping it to medium, we're not going to destroy anything. So there is a use for scrolls and dust. I'm not sure what that is, though. It must just be its own little money. Uh, I think I can tell lighting differences. Like how the lighting on her front and her back, like the shadows are better. So I think that's a difference. But I mean, again, even at low, it looked really nice. Quill had never met a starving. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. You want to get into some mischief? Here, yeah, you want to get into some mischief? Yeah, you want to get into some mischief? We'll give you a belly rub. What happens if you go over this way? Nope. No. -uh. Okay. You want nothing to do with it. That's fair. It is a scary place. I want you to beat that up over there, though. Now, I hope those aren't explosives. Obviously, they're not. I'm like, I hope th you can't climb my quill. Okay. Yay. Fuck them boxes. Passage through the Eastern Gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. Uh, is there anything else over there you can beat up? I guess not. Okay. Oh, look how cute. How the torches are like matches. Well, I don't know if you can really tell if they're matches or not. They just remind me of matches. Not terribly wispy flames, but that's okay. Oh. Oh, look at another little scroll. Okay. Quill demanded answers. Starthing, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? Oh, is there a little trail on the sword? There is a little, like a little rush, like a little whoosh. Yeah, fuck that stick. Okay, so let's see what we need to do. Uh, what happens Trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. Uh, I don't know what that did for me. So we're going to come over here. Can you can you climb that? Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. So you're going to... You're going to climb that. And then okay, what can you do with this? There you go. You do that. Well, okay. Then you close that, and we can close this. And then you're gonna go here. Uh, can you make that jump? You sure can. Look at you. You a badass. This way, kid. Urge the starving. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. The blurriness for a minute there had me think that they said fuck. Don't forget to fuck your ears in. Like, what the? That's not very nice. There we go. Tighten that a little bit. Okay. Oh. Well, you're about to come out of there.
Oh, what else we got? And then that should go away and it'll show the inside of the log otherwise. Neat. So before we do that, I just want to take a look around. I hope y'all don't mind. And of course, there's just... Oh. Now we have to be very careful. Oh, you're so fancy, girl. Oh, there's a rusted axe up there, too. Okay. Oh, There's a deer. I hope you're a good deer. And not a mouse-eating kind of deer. So, what are you... So is there another one around here? Okay. There's not even a tongue. Let's make sure I got the jump button right since we know that you can't swim. So now I need to pull that up. And then you can hop over here and then climb all the way over there. Oh, but how do I get you to over there? Uh, how do I do that? Nope, you're just gonna drown. I'm sorry. We'll do that again. I know. That was very rude. Is there something I can do over here that I can't tell? Can I just... <laughs> I suppose it's just easier this way to have the character actually put in some effort uh, and me control it. Otherwise, they'd be like, so you need to get Quill from this stage to the other stage. And they're like, oh, bam, done. That's not how this works, though. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be a very boring game. The, the water effects are neat, though. All right. So you're going to go over here. Uh, how do I make you climb up there, though? Because I see what I want to do. Oh. Nope. Is there, like, a, a number of lives I have for this game, or... No, not that I can tell. I think you just keep going. Okay. I'm cool with that. But there's really nothing I can do. Oh! Oh, you know what it is. You cut your way and then you go through there. I know. That's a very, very exciting thing there, Mr. Deer. Okay. Now you go through there. Oh, well, I see where you need to go. So... So you're going to go through here. And then you're going to go all the way through that back way. Yep. And then you're going to do a couple of hops. Right here. Right here. Right here. Oh, fuck. I know. Could I just do a shortcut? Nope. Shortcuts are not allowed. Although that was a shortcut. Kind of. Not, not the scenic way. Okay. Now I need you to go here, okay? You. 
Oh, I can't get a good look at you. Because uh, you see me go here, you see me go here. Uh, what do I want you to do now? So, I guess I have you go back around, climb on top of there. Yep. And then we'll make you hop there and then get you down to here because there's nothing else for you to see or do. Okay. And then you go through here and that takes you to there. Uh, is there anything over here I need you to look at? Mm, well, I need you to go. Just on the other side is the mire. The starving assured her. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. But, but I do want to talk to Mr. Squirrel. Is there anything over here? Uh, not that I can tell. So I need you to, I need to raise this. Okay. Oh. Wait, does it work on both or just one or the other? Oh, fuck. I didn't mean you. <laughs> that was supposed to be the jump button. Okay, so that is jump, and this one has nothing with those buttons. Okay. Whoa! You just made it. Bye! I see how it is. Well, some shit went down here years and years ago because... Did you hear that? The starving seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. <laughs> Just don't go and die on me. <clears throat> Alright. Let's be nice to, to, to Quill, though, if we can help it. So, is there any scroll that I can see? Not that I can really tell. So, sure, you can do that. Oh, shit. I don't know what I need to do. I'm not quite sure. I'm trying to remember what that was. Is that thank you? I think that's thank you. So that's good to know. That apparently we can... Almost make you die. That was a very... That was intense. There's just no easy with you. No, no. No easy mode. Well, there is easy mode, obviously. This is pretty straightforward, but... Wow. You're not a drama queen. You just have a little bit more going on than a... Oh, uh, okay. So what do I do with these, then? Do I just have her attack them? So what do I do with... Do I erase that for you? Like, what What do I... Oh. Okay. And then we get to here. Okay. Well, that sucks. That's really... Okay, I think you're okay. Oh, and notice that, that they're bright enough to where you notice just how much different they are, because everything else is uh, literally gray and green. So the pink really pops out. And that also served, I suppose, as a tutorial for that, because we haven't encountered this yet. There was no stairs or sledge. Okay. So I need you to go here, hop up. I hope that this is all, like, you know, me kind of moving in and out and around. I hope that's catching on the, uh, in the game. Because I'm sorry, this is, this is really neat. I like this as a mellow, uh, implementation of what this technology is and what it can be. Can you hop up? No, you can't. Okay. So you're going to go around there. Go over here. Good. And I need you to go here, and then you're going to do the little shimmy. And what do I... No. No. You, you, you almost were there. You know, I know I get that I'm, I'm supposed to be controlling you. I get that that's the, the nature of this game, but sometimes it's like, I need you to help yourself, okay? Like, is this going to... Like, 
Do I go any further? Well, what do you think, stupid? Like, what do you think? Oh, you can. There's a door there. Like, what do you think? Uh, is there anything else you can do? What's over on that side? Can you go walk around? I don't think you can. Is there anything over here? Not that I can really tell. Oh, God damn it! I have to make her go all the way back through all that? Oh, I thought there was a scroll there, and I was about to be happy. All right, all right. What's over here? Nothing. Because now they introduced the stupid scrolls, and now it's like, I want to collect all the scrolls. Alright, so you're going to go here. You're going to hop, hop. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so what do I... I mean, obviously I know what I need to do, but like... Oh, this looks serious. There's an arena here. Uh, can you go that way? That doesn't look like anything you can do. But will it cut me off? It probably won't. Which is just so weird. Because usually if it's an out-of-bounds area, it, it'll actually, you know... At least in most other games... I called it! You're fucked! I called it! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, fuck him! Fuck him up! It's like it's like Dark Souls, but with with, with with mice and rodents and bugs. That was three, so that should let us through. Because of course it's the rule of three. You're welcome. What's over here? Can you go in? You can, but there's a whole lot of nothing going on in there. Which that's good. That's good. There can be. How about in here? Go in there? Nope. Okay. Uh, how about... You beat this up. Yeah. You can beat those up too, because why not? You're here. Yeah, fuck those things. Alright. A whisper echoed through the trees. Fought like someone who has stolen our champion's power. Something's gonna come up through that little bit of- Oh, story time. More story time. So- Oh! Oh, look at us. yet fantastical band of sprites emerged surrounding Quill. I'm Veda, root seer of the mire. And you have crossed into our domain. Bulbasaur. Uh... So maybe the, the, the scrolls we collect are shards of this stained glass. That must be what it is. So that makes sense. Oh, we have light coming in through through here now. We have more light coming in. Because you see how these are all more lit now? So that's interesting. She sized up Quill with a rueful gaze, then turned her attention upward. I sense you there too. I have not felt the presence of such a promising reader in some time. Is this Kate Redding? A youthful warrior marched forward. Rootseer, I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, give us our glass. Is there a credits on here? Because I wonder if this is Kate Redding. Because sometimes it sounds like Kate Redding. Controls, no. Nope. Save data, research checkpoint, that's fine. Chapter select. Uh, 
Collected relic dust and forgotten fragments will be will persist. So those are relics. Okay. Oh, look at us. We got so much stuff to do. That's fine. Oh, I have to actually turn the page. Quill stepped closer. Where is my uncle? If you've hurt him... Silence! Feta thundered back. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now I see why. I'm saying Kate Redding, that's... Young one. Yeah, whatever. I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Quill's knees buckled as Veda continued. Argus put himself at great risk calling for us. So I've been going through the Wheel of Time series, speaking of giant books. I mean, Jesus, these are some big books. Um, and it's so big, they have two narrators. There's uh, Michael something, I want to say Kramer. I probably have that name wrong. And then there's Kate Redding. And the, the narrator sometimes sounds like Kate Redding, but it's like, no, if you get any uh, woman actor to deliver it like this, I mean, I'm sure there, there's like all sorts of like, hey, we need an actress who can do this or, or, or a narrator who can do this, an actor. It's like, okay, here's a whole list. See who's available and their pricing on the game. Like, you know, what budget do they have? Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's like, we need someone who can, who can do these kinds of voices in your audition. I'm sure there's a whole list of people who are more than capable of doing this. It just so happens that this narrator sounds a lot like Kate Redding. Your uncle once took a solemn oath to protect the glass of your fallen king. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The arcane have long sought to wrest that knowledge from him. And do you dare to cross into the mire with our glass? Sarfog will soon burn through this forest looking to tear you and your reader apart. Unless, of course, you find them first. I am Groot. Take these. Weapons made for the mighty champion who died so that your people could live. Quill felt its otherworldly power course through her. Find your uncle, Twofold, before the serpent and its masters break him. Oh, I just noticed her, her lashes. Fumed. Our glass with her? Rootseer, she's minuscule. Come now. The reader has chosen its hero. We must let their story unfold. Veda replied with a frost of finality and vanished into the shadows of the mire. Or they could have several narrators for this story, but I'm pretty sure it's just one. Yeah! Oh! Heckin' bamboozle. Well, oh. has it really only been, been 25 minutes? Wow, y'all. All right, let's go check on y'all. All right. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, let's see. And... Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see who we got. Uh, definitely meeting and surpassing expectations from Charlie. Might be the first game you played that I wish you could play, that you yourself could play. Wow. BSL and ASL are actually way more different than English in both countries. And Ceylon spoken. Don't die. I told you don't die. Have fun playing. Oh, hey. Uh, I hope you're still watching there. Uh, Ceylon spoken. Thank you for hopping aboard. My name is Nick, and I am another bearded white dude on Twitch, as evidenced by my pale complexion and the beard. And there's a million of us on here. I just happen to be one of many. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this Moss playthrough. Uh, this will probably just be a one and done. It's not a very long game. And uh, I hope that y'all are enjoying it. And uh, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please consider following this channel. I've got all sorts of other games lined up. Uh, Moss is certainly the cutest game of the lot I had on my list of 20. And, uh, uh, you know, this is definitely one of the neater ones. I'm not going to lie. The others seem boring in comparison, but, uh, they each have their own thing going on. So uh, 
I hope that uh, you continue enjoying this playthrough, and uh, I will see y'all in probably about another 30 minutes, because uh, once I'm in the Matrix, I'm in the Matrix, y'all. So, timer four, we'll do 30. All right, I will actually talk to y'all again in about 30 minutes. And, of course, I'll be chatting the whole time, too, providing my two cents and uh, whatever other observations I make. Because uh, there's a lot of little clever things they have going on. Uh, some of them are real obvious. Like, again, how the, the tone here in the mire, how, they get, how it's all uh, green and gray. You know, stone and moss. Ha. Uh, and you can see, like, oh, these thorns are bad for you. So you fuck up once, and now you learn how to heal moss, how to help quill out. And uh, so on. So... It's neat what they got going on. Uh, is there... Oh, there's one way over here. So how do I get you up there? Oh, we go... Wow. Wow, you go a long way for this one, kiddo. Okay. So you need to go... Oh, you got, you got the Infinity Gauntlet now, don't you? Look at you. So you climb here. Oh, try it again. Yeah, for our regular viewers, and well, I suppose this is more for our new viewers, uh, the handful of times I have done a VR screen, I would have a chat window probably about here. Uh, but unfortunately, we're having some technical issue with that tonight. So, unfortunately, I have to resort to just, uh... Oh, jeez, that's a big jump. Yeah, good job. And that's the biggest one of all. Yep. Uh, I'm, do I want to kick it up to high settings? Or do I want to keep to medium? Eh, let's try a higher one. We're at a paltry medium. Y'all deserve the best. Uh, we'll not fully take... Okay. Uh, I don't see a difference right now. Although, I did just now notice that moss hanging off of there. Maybe that's one of the updates, is that they add a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that uh, is nice filler, but it's not the whole game, obviously. But again, hopefully, uh, well, you can see little clover in the cracks. So it may have just, oh. So I, so these are a new addition to the, uh, to the game. So I'm just now noticing stuff like the scratches here to kind of illustrate where you need to go. Again, very subtle, clever visual cues. So we had the thorn, uh, we had the, uh, thistle. And now we've got the statue with the... Uh, scratch marks. We can call them skid marks. This is a grown-up show. We can call them skid marks. Uh, can we do anything with you? No, we can't. And of course, also the things... What? What you got? Yeah. We want to push it? Oh, shit. And then we probably have to actually put it over here. And then do I need to actually, yep. Ugh. Now remember, you brought this upon yourself. Yeah, you think about that, miss. Is there a scroll or anything we can pick up while we're here? Maybe, maybe not. Let's just keep on going. The idea is to, to do this in one sitting, because again, it's not a, oh, here we go. This is where I think the graphics is going to flex, because of that light coming through and all the Will's shadows. favorite story, how Sir Argus fought beside the Sprite Champion to seal this temple from the Arcane, and secured the survival of their kinds. Simply standing in their heroic footsteps felt like a great honor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't actually Kate Redding. Although I do have to appreciate the last name, uh, a name of Redding, which is spelled like reading and uh, is a narrator. 
I have to appreciate that, though. So, do any of them do anything? Probably not. Uh, here's some shit you can break. Now that we've reached this hallowed temple, here's some stuff you can destroy. I know you like that shit. Uh, very neat stuff. I really. Ooh, there you go. You see, you see it over there? You see it? Yeah, we're gonna get you over there. Oh, that's a very. Can you make that? Yeah, you can. You're a little badass. Oh, don't step on that one stone that's up there, though. That might trigger a, a temple guardian, and I hope you picked up uh, the, the, the temple tokens or whatever the, the game show had. Because uh, I don't think they're going to be too kind to you. Oh, there's another, like, how the, again, how the climb points are faded differently. There you go. And if you, nope, that does nothing. Okay. Uh, okay, go, go that way. So, more shit for you to break. I know you like breaking things. Well, I mean, again, I'm having a, a consistent frame rate here, so y'all shouldn't have an issue at all with the stream unless the stream is like, oh, nope, and this decides to tap out because the graphical horsepower shouldn't have an issue. Uh, okay, so you need to hop here and then here. I don't want to hear... Oh, unless that was you sheathing your sword. Maybe that was. So it's just that? I, if I hold the button down, it does nothing else? Okay. So... Nope, you don't move. So that moves. Do you move? Yeah, you do. So break that one. So what do you move and why? So you're going to move. Uh, oh, there's something behind there. Let's go ahead and move you. Again, I don't know what you move for. Oh, well, oh, you can't go through that. You're a mouse. You're supposed to, to squeeze through shit like that. You're supposed to. Look at you. You're tiny. That, that, that's no problem for you to do. Uh, what if, okay, what if I go here, and then go here, and then go here? Oh, come on. Come on, little one. You got this. You go here, and then you go here. How do you... Okay, is there something else you're supposed to do, or is it just that little way? Interesting. Uh... that's as far as you go okay so what exactly do you do what if I oh okay and then you go here oh okay that was good it counted for something that was good I'll take it so I need you to oh now we can move that back and then you can climb up that can you climb that Oh, okay. So you don't actually climb on that. You use it to, to move it out the way so you can do your thing. Okay. And then you got that thing you step on. I don't know what that does. What about to find it? Oh, so that opens that. Oh. But I don't really... No, it's not so worried about because we got that way to get up there. Although, how do we open that gate? That's not something I do, do I? No, not that I can tell. So how do I open that? It's also kind of frustrating that as obvious as it is, it's not like, oh, can I push down on it? No, I can't. Can I push? Oh, now, can yeah, there you go. So that holds that down, okay. Oh, you just take this for granted. Okay. You just take this for granted? Alright, I see how it is. 
It's okay, you're a child. That's how it's supposed to be. Oh, shit. Quill, you need to quit fucking up. Because, look, we got one, two, three, four, five of these little fuckers. Oh, there's a scroll over there. Uh, so how do we get to that? Can you... No, we can't. So I guess we're just going to get to the fighting part. Oh, now we got two at a time. Oh, shit. Seems like your sword's a little better because you're taking these out in four hits rather than the more than four it took the other way. So something moved down. So what happens if you step on that? So oh, okay. What if? So you're gonna go behind that spider web. Okay, I see. So you're gonna go here, you're gonna go up the little staircase, and then, that's jump, yeah, and then you're gonna go behind the spider web, you could also beat it up, cause of course, and then you're gonna climb that up, and you're gonna get that scroll. Oh. If you give a mouse a cookie, anyone remember that story? give a mouse a cookie, I think it then wants a glass of milk. And if it wants a glass of milk, well, then you have to do something else. So how do we get you over here? Uh, are you going to do some real rad shit and hop that gap? That might be what you end up doing. First things first, you're going to clear that. So let's see what I need to do. That's so wait, notice how, how this one has, how this side has nothing, but this side has something. So what if I do this? What does this do? Well, I just did nothing. Go back. Good enough. So that opens the gate. And obviously we can't do that yet. So break those. Get some get some stardust or whatever. And uh, now I need you to climb up to something. So what do I have you climb to get up there? Oh, you're going to shimmy. See, visual cues. Like, it's all scratched in from age and use, so... Okay. And then, can I push you in further? No, that's all we can do. So what happens if I go over here with this? I can only go so far because of that. So what do I have you do? Oh, because it ha no longer has that gap. And then you beat that up. And then you're going to do s stuff with that lever. And that lever activates... Okay. So... Oh. Uh oh. So there's got to be something over there that's useful, right? You better stay away, mister. I don't know what I did. Oh! Oh, look at me! Okay. Is there anything in there for you? No. Oh, shit. Like, you could either get good at combat, or you could just, you know, two-on-one your, your hapless adversary. The choice is yours, but I feel like going uh, two-on-one is, is not... They keep coming. Stop it. There better not be more. Of course there's more. Maybe if you beat him up for real, it'll stop. No, it won't. Okay. That's fine. Because we're going to set that up. Now they can't get you. And if you need to fight them, well, I can dick with them, apparently. Can I make you Can I make you fall off over here? Well, well... Dude, this controller's doing a ton of work. Can you, can you come over here to your death? No? What do you mean I have to be honest and not have you fall to your death? I command it. And what does that say for me as a character if I'm able to control both good and bad characters? It says I can do some real shady shit. Is that why you don't see me? 
Like, I get it. I can do some stuff here. But it's like... Man, this game has levels. Because I'm the good guy and the bad guy. I'm the author of my own life story. Oh, that's why we matter. There, you go here. There you go. So how do I make you then... Oh, what if... So what else can I explore while I'm here? Let's have you explore a little bit of that, because I see what I need to do. I can pull this guy over here, keep him seated here, and that'll open that gate. So I see what I need to do, but the pro it's like there's just more to explore, though, because there's this whole part. But judging by how there's no scratch marks, uh, that that's an off-bounds limit, although there's some stuff here. So it might be a place we come back to in a little bit. So what we're probably going to end up doing... Yeah, there you go. Get over there and ready. So what we're going to do... Yeah, come on. Well, you're a brick, white. Okay, there you go. A little bit more. Yeah, right there. Good minion. First things first. There you go. So, okay, so, if you go over here, and then you go over here, okay, so if I do that, that stops. So let's do it like that. That way you have something to do. And then you come over here. And then you do that. And then what's over here? I don't know. Oh, there's some stairs. Okay. And then you're going to come over here. And what's over here? I don't know. You can hop, though. Hop again. Break some vases, because of course. You're an ungrateful little creature. Now we're playing in a dollhouse. This is some really fascinating level and then you come here and then you're gonna pull the lever I don't think that was a problem before because I literally just did that to get over there but now we could also actually you can stay there because what we can do I see now because we can use this to get the other piece over here And by us doing that, you can then ascend higher up. So how high does that go? Oh. Okay. Up. Oh. <laughs> he made a little. She made a little scream when she died. It was sad and adorable simultaneously. Oh my God. I'm a terrible. I'm a terrible father. All right. Come over here. Good. Now you're gonna come over here. Oh, and they're so obedient. These are like the most obedient little villains I've ever met. Because they just go like right there and they wait their turn. So can you get there in time? You sure can. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> you little idiot, I tried to help you. <laughs> I tried so hard to help you. <laughs> I was like, come on, hurry. But no, no, you want to take your time. Oh. Little cutie drama queen over here. Yeah, you got crushed by the stage. Well, you know, you could have tried a little harder yourself. All right. And you're gonna get right there. And now we're gonna wait for that. Okay. And now... I need you to hurry up and climb. Can you do... Nope. Nope. Wait. Nope. Nope. Quill. <laughs> I need you to climb the damn thing. Climb it. Climb it! Yes. Good. 
Now, I can't... Can I do that from here? Yes, I can. I don't know what I did, but I did something useful, I'm sure. I hope I did something useful. So you're over here. That's cool. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, there are spikes up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So what do we do here? Well, first of all, there's a scroll over there I need you to get. And for the audience, it's probably like, what the hell is he doing? No, there's a whole thing here now. Can I... Okay, so how do I navigate this part? Because I need you to climb up here. I hope that's not the way out of this puzzle. <laughs> uh, what do I do? Or could I... I could do that too, I guess. Oh, oh! Fuck. I have the idea of how this works. I just need to actually do it. Alright. So you're gonna come over here. I just want to pick them up and put them down, but I can't. So you're gonna come back over this way. And that's why they keep respawning. That's why they keep respawning from there, because they actually have a use. Okay. So now I need you to climb up there. Hurry up, hurry up. Good. All right. So now... Oh, that's a wedge. Interesting. Is it the right size for that? Almost. But that way you also don't get yourself crushed on the ceiling. Okay. So there's a little hole for you to climb in and that'll make you drop down and get the scroll. All that fuss. All right. So now... What do I do about... All the other stuff? Uh, hmm. Because once I open that, you go through there. Uh, so what do I need to do? Do I need to just remove one? Because here's a bug. What do I do with this bug? What happens if you go over here? Well, exactly what you thought would happen. That's what happened. Uh, this is, does another one respond? No, it doesn't. So what do I do here then? Oh, so what if I then... Oh, I'm looking at the details on these uh, gargoyle looking things. So let's take one off. Oh, there you go. And then you go through there. Okay. Well, that was a fun little... Oh, and see, like I said, there's a reason why that was all that was there as assets. Uh, nothing there, and then you go way into the back. Okay. I actually kind of like... This is very childish. I, I really... I, I have to say, I'm impressed. Because now it's like you're playing in little doll houses or toy houses, and it's... I like that extra level of... of of depth it kind of gives because this is a very simplistic story nothing wrong with that and I like how that actually kind of is cemented with some of these levels and how it's like you're playing with dollhouses okay so we did that so you're gonna come here okay and then you're going to climb here. So what happens if you stand here? Okay. So we're going to continue to give it a little spin. That's fine. Come on over here. And we spin it a little bit more. Because there should be a way up. Okay. And then if I move you aside, that'll cause something to happen, but what? That did a whole lot of nothing for me. Okay. So, oh, what if I happen to switch places? That's probably what I have to do. So you're going to go back here. 
Okay. Actually, wait. I need you... So, how do I do this? So, I need you to come... How do I... Okay. So, Quill, go over here. Now, I need you... Actually, Quill, come back. There. Hold that open. There you go. Oh, and that... Okay, Quill, you come over here. Because clearly that's the one doing the work. Okay. So, Quill, you come over here. And then you're going to come through here. And you're going to hold this one down. Okay. And now, you get off of here. And I spin this. There you go. And... Okay. And then, what happens if you go here? <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just, that was cute. So now, we move him back over here. And actually, can I just rotate it? Yeah, I can just rotate it. There you go. And then I don't care about you anymore. You did your job. Fuck! <laughs> oh. It's okay. It's okay. We can do it again. Oh. All right. Quill, hurry up. Hurry up. Actually, fuck. I need to... Actually, no. Quill, you come in here. And you stay still. Holy crap, this is complicated. It is and it isn't, right? Okay, Quill, come here. Okay. Come over here. Okay. Now I need you to... And then just turn you like... Here. Actually, no, we can do... That's right. You, you went up to there. So now that's why it's on two different controllers. It makes a little more sense that way. And then let's... Yeah, there you go. That works. Now walk. Good. Good. And you're on the side of the rail. Good. And there's nothing on that ledge. Cool. I really do like this little game. Okay. First things first. So what you got over there? You got some uh, some 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 fairy shit going on over there. We've got an entrance there. We have an entrance up front. We got these little torches. Okay, I can apparently light the torches. That's cool. I got super reader torch lighting powers. Come over here. Uh, you could go that way. But what are our options? Because you can continue to beat those up. I'm sure those are useful for something. But we need to also see what this is about over here. Okay, what you got? Oh, it's glass. Okay. You made a portal. Where does it go? <laughs> sure, go in the portal. Why not? We're doing things. Okay, where the fuck am I now? Uh, I'm back in the mire, I guess. Uh, there's a thing you can... Oh, there's two things you could do. If you Quill hoped this was a shortcut to the castle. What she found was a strange and vibrant place shrouded in perpetual twilight. But something about it was oddly familiar. So if you go this way, there's nothing there. So there's no, nothing that I can tell. Okay. So if you go that way, Is there anything interesting over here? No, nope, apparently not. 
So... Something oddly familiar. Well, we were here like... Oh, fuck. I know, I know. Why won't they let me just pick you up? I don't know. They let me pick you up for so many other things. But not for that. Yeah, help me get over there. Okay. So, something's up here. We're infested. A grumble echoed from the cave. And why would I do that? It croaked loudly, annoyed at either nothing or something. You in there! Declared Quill boldly. Where are we? I'm looking for the fastest way to the castle. Venusaur! Quill recognized the toad as Veda's steed from the mire. Seemingly oblivious to Quill, he continued. Oh. Fine. I'll open the root. Give them your fancy test. But you're only digging yourself a deeper grave with roots here, Veda. Veda. Okay. Can you do stuff with the froggy? If I do that, I'll probably get eaten. Although it is kind of cute that they're just kind of like, oh, whatever. So if I have you go that way, though. Oh, come on. Go back up. And then there's a way for you here. So I can have you do that. Is there something up here that I need to... Oh, break that stick. Come up over here. Oh, I like the design on these vases, though, as I say, as I shatter them into a million pieces. Yeah, there you go. Ugh. And what's over this way? So you break that. And there you go. So there's that entrance. Is there anything else here that's interesting? I'm going to check on y'all in just a minute. Let me just finish checking all this out. I don't think there's anything else here for me to really check out. So, okay, we'll pick it up uh, right here. Okay. So let me check on y'all real quick. Meanwhile... Looking at sort of the art design of our surroundings. It's kind of, I really do like this game. I'm liking it more than I would have thought. Okay, microphone's in the headset, so I have to kind of do it like this. All right. Uh, oh, the same glass. Is that a second high five? If you get a second high five, that's fall is worth it. Okay. And that's the only thing we got. Let me check tw uh, the channel. It says chat is hidden. I'm okay with that. We're not going to worry about all the rest of that stuff. Oh, that's stuff on my end. Okay. Y'all should be here, though. That's just stuff that I see on my end, I guess. Okay. Well, that's fine. So long as y'all are good and happy, that's fine. Okay. Oh, y'all are just being real quiet. I I I'm happy. Okay. Hey, look, if y'all are enjoying it, I'm happy y'all are enjoying it. And I understand that, you know, the, the world doesn't revolve around me. This is a game, right? Y'all all got your stuff going on. It's Friday night. Y'all are getting back from work, getting ready for the weekend, all that good stuff. I get it. There's all sorts of any number of things y'all could be doing on your Friday night. And I really do appreciate it. Y'all spending a little bit of time here with me. Uh, I'm glad that y'all are enjoying this. And I mean, again, you know, and background noise. If anything else, I get to be background noise. That's awesome. I'm missing my afternoon nap. 
huffed the toad. They're not even going in. Fuck you. I'm going in. Fuck you, Mr. Toad. If Veda knew I led you here, she'd burn my roots from existence. The voice rose from the soil, gently shaking the branches. But I need to know you can handle the perils of the castle. Okay. Well, oh. <laughs> no, I didn't want you to go back. Go, go, go that way. There you go. Go that way. <laughs> I knew they'd give up. Oh, fuck you, Toad. If Veda knew I led you here, she'd burn my roots from existence. A voice rose from the soil, gently shaking the branches. So what's this? I need to know you can handle the perils oh, of the castle. Oh, now we got this shit. So that's cool. That that helped dismantle some of it. So what we need to do next. So these are floating rocks. So what happens if I... Let's wait for that to kind of come this way. Interesting. Yeah, we could just wait for that to come back down. There you go. It's a different way to elevator, that's for sure. So what's over here? And then we do that. So that took out a little bit more. So then I need you to go here and here. So we're going to wait for this to come down. Then you hop up here, take that, and I'll take care of the rest. I need only the finest puzzle solvers to take on Starf Starfog. Rrr. And that should take care of the last. And we'll see what that one is over about in a minute. Oh shit, I'm just now hearing that some of like like there's actual orchestration going on. Like there's an actual like score going on. Okay, so we're gonna go beat that up. And actually Yeah, that's fine. Go beat that up. Yeah, for that last little thing. So there's nothing here for me to do. Although I feel like this has to do something somewhere. Right? Maybe not this moment. So what we need to do. You can climb on top of there, and then you can be- Ah! Oh! Is your health meter in your backpack? Okay, I guess that's what that's about. Interesting. So, I need to deep beat those up. And then what's over here? Okay, cool. And then you come over here, and you climb that. Okay. Now I need you to continue this way. Okay. Come over here. Make that hop. Beat those up. Okay. Climb that. And that just takes me back to where I was. Not necessarily a bad thing. You can climb around that way. There you go. Oh, I don't think I set my timer. Uh, I'll check it when I in a minute. Do they all have to? I don't. Well, let's see what happens if you if you stand there. Oh. Well, what does that do for me? That does approximately nothing, as far as like change goes. Nothing really for me, because. That moved that up, but I was able to reverse them before. Hey, what what you got? Okay. Can you go around that way and come out that way? No, you can't. How about just in front? There you go. Okay. Oh, that's a different vantage point over here, make that hop, and you're gonna skim me across, and you're gonna, no, I see, you need to go over that way, and then you can do that, 
And then you're going to come over here. Now, let's see. Uh, you can beat those up. There's nothing here for you. You get to there. You're going to probably have a consultation with something. And then I get to pull this out, and you get to see what's in the chest. I know, that is a bit much, isn't it? I know. What's in the box? Oh, it's another gauntlet. Okay. No animal has ever crossed into a sprite's heartwood. Oh, we got more armor. Okay. Radiated from the leaves. You must prove I've not erred in giving you the glass relic. Oh, you even have... Okay. So what does the glass armor do? I don't know what it does. Do I do anything with that? I don't. Oh, shit. So now you go that way. That's where you came. So that'll have an impact on that place now. Oh. And then you pull a lever, and that'll do something. Well, that's cool, I guess. So, how do I manipulate you? Do I actually pick you up and move you, or, like, what do I do with you? There's gotta be something I can do with you. I just don't know what I do. So, what if you go the other way? There you go. So here you go. Okay. Sure, let's just follow what they want me to do. Are you telling me to get out? They're telling me to get out. <laughs> Actually, no, they're going to have me go that way and then come out that door, hit that switch, and that'll cause something to happen. Okay. Like, are they telling me to get out? Like, that's some bullshit. I'm the chosen one. I've earned your favor. Oh. <laughs> so where am I at now? Okay, I'm where, I'm where I should be. I'm precisely where I should be, because I need to go over that way. So we're going to go ahead and just do a hop. Nope. We'll try that again. Do that hop, then. I thought I could be, you know, take a shortcut. Apparently not. Story time is serious business. All right. There you go. Self high five. And then you do that, and that'll cause something to happen here. There you go. And okay. Oh, now that I have. No. Still a lot of nothing. Oh. So what do I do with these statues now? Maybe I stand on the pedestal and I can actually do that now and that'll be okay? So how... Okay, I have to go this way. Oh. No, you're good. Keep going, keep going. You got... Actually, shit, go back here. We gotta break shit. We got shit to break. Not my fault they regenerate valuables. Alright, make the hop. Make the hop again. Oh, okay. So now... So what we need to do... We need to get these ready. Because when you get on there, 
that causes those. Can I actually? Ooh, I can do them both at the same time. And then you get off. And well, I guess I drag them over here. And I need you to. There you go. You come over here. That works for me. And then you can get back on that. And you can go here. And you can go here. And then if you stand up. Yeah. A good start, but we'll have more work to do if Veda is ever going to accept you as her champion. I'll summon you again when you're ready. Yeah. Excite bike. Go into the go into the dark room. Oh, everything's green. That good ass swamp Mary Jane. And the reader were reunited with the toad of cantankerous disposition. One test. Small flies, if you ask me. I doubt they'll even find the second portal back. There's a second portal? Oh, you're telling me to go bug off. The frog's telling me to go bug off. It's the toad. Telling me to go bug off. Uh, okay. Fine. Grr, you got some armor. Look at you. You're like a little, sort of like a little bit of a Captain Marvel going on with you. Look at you. You just may him. And, uh, that works. So that'll take us back to wherever it is we were. I don't know all that we had here. Uh, we could go that way, or we could go straight ahead to the room that's just a giant open space with mice. Let's just go do that. The little guinea pig guards up here with the mace and the sword. Yeah, what happens if you go up front? Yeah, why not? Nope, can't do anything with that. Uh... Well, I don't know what we do. Clearly, they're not impressed because I could do something here. Maybe there's stuff that goes into here. If I put you in there, you'll probably end up dying because of fire. But give you a little rub down. I know. Can I take? Can I put out the fire? Maybe by me putting up, lighting the fires, it does something? I guess we'll go uh, the other way. Okay. Nope. See, normally you would think I'd be able to make that kind of jump. But I guess not, because I have to go this way. They want me to go this way. Even though there was a shortcut, they want me to go their way. Little picky fucks. Okay. There's a scroll that way. So how can I get to the scroll? Well, what does this do? Okay. So there's going to be a bug over here in a second, isn't there? Bug combat. Oh. Oh, you're a mean one, aren't you? What can I do with you? You're, you're, you're as gullible and as fickle as the other ones. That's what you are. You do precisely fuck all like the others. Oh, shit. Uh, so what can I do with you, though? So I need you to go down here. Then I need you to raise this up. Oh. Give you... So what do I do with so here you go down there and, and fight with them. There you go. And then you can come over this way and beat those guys. Up. Oh shit. Stop that. And then with this one I need to lower. Oh no, I had it right. So you need to be low, that's where you are, that's good. Oh, there's more. I thought I Oh I see. Hop here, hop here. There you go. And then while you're over here... Yay! 
And then you could come over this way. Oh, we got a little cannon. Okay, so now we have to answer this guy, which I thought we did before, but I guess not. So we need to lower this. And then lower and then up that again. Swiggity swooty. There you go, that should do it. Yep. And then you climb up and hop down and go through the door. There you go. All right, so we got a new thing. What this does exactly, I don't quite know. Uh, actually, what you're gonna do... So what happens if you come over here first? Okay. So there's gotta be a baddie coming up somewhere, so I need to probably lower a baddie onto this, and then do some stuff. What happens if I make you do this? Okay, so actually I need you to come here, and then I can rotate this. That works. And if you want to, you can even do that. Why not? So that'll cause a bad guy to come out. And I can then have two things. And then you go in there, and that does precisely nothing. So I need you to come over this way. What if, what if he destroys the things? What if he destroys those? Ah, fuck. Or, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I need you to come over... You can't come over this way? Oh! Oh, aren't you interesting? So I do need to make you do that. Here, go ahead and take it out. And then that'll cause another to spawn. So then you need to come up here in the middle. There you go. And then we can... I need you to... Oh, you're good right where you are. How do I make you... I need to make you shoot shit. Come on, over this way. And then... Shoot shit. Come on. Come on, do the, do the thing. There you go. So... So that made you do something. I don't know... Oh, so I did one. Now do it again. Oh, you had it. Do I have to do it again? Right. How do I make you shoot shit? I had you shooting shit before. Get on there. So it was a button push. Oh, it's a... Okay. I figured it out now. Ah, damn it. Try it again. You go that... Oh, almost. Try it again. There you go. And you go that way. And then you go this way. Nope. Damn it. Try it again. Try it again. There you go. And that did something. Oh, there we go. Okay. Then you come over this way. Yeah, fuck you. I don't need you anymore. 
So I could have you go. Can you make that? No, you can't make that jump. That's fine. Then you can come over up again. Girl. And you can't. Oh, you can just do that. Okay. And then you can go that way. Okay. Oh. Okay. So. Uh, let's see. You got that way here. And that gets you. Oh, okay. You go all the way through there. Okay. That causes that to rise. And there'll be the staircase. Ups. Yeah. So what do I want to do next? So if I have you do that, although it seems like I have to have that fired at to make to make it do anything. What if I have you ascend the staircase? What happens if you just go over there and, and try to hit it? Okay, that does something. Can you make that jump? You can't. But we can turn this to where you can make it more accessible. There you go. Although that's uh, that's actually quite well boarded up, so that's not going to happen. Uh, what can I have you do then? How about like that? And is there anything over here? Not that no, nothing, nothing else. Oh, so that changes the direction. Uh, well, oh, there's a scroll. Can you make that jump? No, you can't. if you turn it over here a little more but if I do that so do I hit that lower it or do I have it have her beat that I could try that because you can do that and then you can come over here and we can take this guy. No, I don't need you to. So what do you do? So what? I want you to come over. You won't even do that for me? Bro, I just need you to come onto this. So you're a red herring, I guess. Or is there something else I can do with you? Not that I can tell. Look, we tried to be civil. We tried. Uh, okay. So if you beat that up. Okay. And what happens if I beat the other one up? Because you see how they're different colors? Oh. Interesting. So how do I, okay. Hop back here. Turn you a little bit more, and that may be high enough for you to make it. Yep, there you go. And then if you go up there, they'll put you to that staircase, and then I can raise that to get the scroll, and also maybe to get you to the other side. Uh, well, actually, no, if I want to... Oh, we can hit the switch now. Fuck. We got it. We figured it out. Uh... There you go. Climb up there. There you go. Hit that. And that'll cause something to happen. Oh, we got the bugs again. So what does the bug do? Oh, you're one of those guys. Okay. So you can... Okay. Well, you'll be useful for that much. Come on. Come on. There you go. So, which one does what, though? Oh. Uh, well, we could have you come over there, and you can just wait there. 
And then if you shoot, can you shoot that one? Yeah, hi, I can see you. But you can't quite. Like I see what we want to do, we just need to go up another level. But how do we make him go up another level? So, oh, I need to probably hit that, because that may cause something to happen. Okay, and then... But now that's too, well, actually I might be able to climb, yeah, I can climb that now. I can climb that now, and then climb up, and get you on there, and that'll get you the scroll. Yeah, climb that. And then you come over there, and you hit that. Up, oh, you had it. And the the, the 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 claw marks on there show that you can do it. Come over here. Come over here. Yep, there you go. There you go. And then you can make that little hop. And then we can try using this guy. Yeah! And is there anything you can do over there while you're there to get to the other room? No, you can't. Of course not. That would have been convenient. Uh, let's go ahead and put you back over that way, though. So for me to put you back that way, we need to turn this around. There you go. Yeah. Actually, no, that's fine. Keep that like that. You climb up there, you go up there, he shoots that thing. It might make another brick go up. I don't know. Yeah. Hey. All right. There's another chest. So... There might be another glass thing that pops up as we get closer to that ledge. That might be what that is. Okay. Oh, you can make that jump. There you go. And... Okay. Is that a shield? It's something. You sure did get that thing. Whatever it is. Now I got the thing, whatever it is. I don't know what you gave me, dude. I have no idea what the fuck you gave me. What am I supposed to do with this? We'll give you a scritch. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I guess we'll just go back the way we came. Oh! This is this is probably for the, the, the as a key for something that we had up front. The the room with the uh, uh, torch in the front. Well, we can just hop straight down. We did the we did the tricky part. We can just leave. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? So where okay, there you are. Uh damn it. Try it again. Oh, I can even position you that way too. There you go. There you go. And then you can go through there. And they'll... Where, where am I now? Okay. Well, throw that lever. There you go. And then we put our, our sheriff's door into that Duma Flitchy, and that should unlock the door.
here. And then I open the door for you. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So where am I at now? I am... I have no idea where I'm coming from on this level. Oh, there I am. Uh, is there something here I can do with that? So... What can I do here? So there's... Okay. You can't... You can't climb that. You're a terrible protagonist. Well, what happens if you climb to the very top first? Nothing happens. I figured. That's worth trying. Okay. And you can't go in there, and you can't go in there, because that's where baddies will spawn. So... Like, I see where you climb, but I need to get you to climb that way first. Oh, what you got? Uh, I, I tried this, and there's nothing about this I can do. There's gotta be something I can do. Like, let me try that. There you go. And then you can climb that. And then... Climb that. There you go. And then, yeah, you can climb that. Well, you can't. You had it. So that's just a little taller than that one. Okay. And then you can hit that. And then you put yourself on there, and that'll cause something to happen with that chain. And then I can pull that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you gotta beat the baddies. I know. Shit got serious real quick. But you got this. You've done this a million times. You've trained your whole life for this moment. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Double-decker bullshit. What if you go here and you just run around? Oh. Yeah, we're gonna show you who's boss. Oh. Get back on there in case it has you go back up. Oh. That's good enough for me. Uh, is there anything there? Well, you can beat those up. Yeah, that's something. And we got another... Okay, we got more of those. And then you gotta hurry up and get there so we can climb that. So that raises to... N oh. Okay, I see how it kind of works. So I have to beat those guys up somehow. That's okay. Because what'll happen is that'll be next when we can take that guy out. Come on, come on over here. And while we wait, we can go ahead and give you a little heal. Oh, I thought that was supposed to... Okay, no, that'll push up, and that'll go down. No? Nope. I thought wrong. I was bamboozled. Maybe it's because you're here? Alright, which... Wh wh who's going where? Ah, oh, shit. Or actually, no, that's okay, because you can come over here, you can hop onto that, and then you can take that guy out. Oh, shit. 
Oh shit, my homie, my homie. My homie got dusted. And then we can come over here. And that'll do us a whole lot of nothing. But hey, we can do things. Uh, That was cool, I guess. But now what do I do? Okay, now that's going to go down and that's going to go down. And then this time, that guy's going to come up that way. So we got to take care of these two guys right here. Okay, so answer that guy first. Alright, cool. And then this guy... No, take that guy out. Now you hurry up and come over here. Whew, just in time. Because this guy's gonna come out. And that should be it, because that was two and two. We took out each of the, gu each of the gunners. And we can actually go ahead and get yourself over here, because that should be it, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Hopefully that was it. I hope that was it. Seems like it would be. Oh. Oh, there's more of them now. Oh, that was it? Two hits? Okay. Apparently you can only take two hits. I wasn't aware you, you could only take two hits. Oh. The torches are a clue. Because you see how that one's... Oh, shit. Stop. Do that real quick. Yeah. Give that guy a refill. Is there anyone else now? Okay, so that goes there. So there's gonna be a guy coming up here. Yep. Uh, well, you're gonna come down again. That's okay. I don't care what you do. So we're gonna do all that shit again. And then this guy's gonna come out. And then you're gonna come back. I have to say, as far as like a, VA, a VR game goes, this is a, a pretty simple one. Well, I mean, it's simple, but I think it, it delivers a good idea on like, here's what you can do with this kind of game. Because it's it, it, it's a, a 2D well it's not really a 2D platformer but like it just it does enough with the space to kind of go like oh no here's what you can actually do with it that's that's like it's actually not quite I mean it, it's novelty ultimately sure it's all novelty but it feels like there's actually stuff you can kind of do a little bit more with this so that's that one so now we gotta answer those two torches. Or is that it? I hear heroic can't fanfare. Nope. I was wrong with the fanfare. The fanfare was a lie. But again, I really do like like what, you, what that VR allows for an experience like this. It's so different. Because, again, like, as much as I like Trover Saves the Universe, I mean, again, the thing about that game, it could be played on console uh, non-VR, right? And that's fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. So I need this to go. Which one are you going to go first? Oh, that was it. Okay. So, yeah, we'll keep going. Just a little bit more before I check on y'all. Because I know it's been a minute. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's check on y'all.
because we got some fancy shit going on up here. It is seven. Is how is it only seven? Okay. Very enjoy. My knock uh not noxious. Charlie's migraine has set the rules. No more screen time. Good night. Good night, Charlie. I'm sorry your migraine isn't playing nice with you. But everything else is going pretty well. So here's what I'm gonna do. I need to go use the restroom. I need to pee. So we're gonna take a break. I'll be back in five minutes. And uh, we'll pick up right here. So I don't know where we are with Moss. I have no idea where we are right now at the game uh, or anything there. So we're going to take a break, and I'll be back in five-ish minutes. I'll see you all very soon.
All right. I have no idea if it's been five minutes, but I'm back from what I needed to do. And it's going to take me a minute to get set up anyway. It's VR. It takes a minute to kind of get settled back in, of course. All right. That song good. I really need to see about the different straps they have, the different head straps they have for this thing. Uh, what do I have? Oh, it's my phone. I'm like, what the hell's on my armrest? Speaking of armrest, well, phone, really. Let me set another 30-minute timer. Uh, that's good. So we'll play for another 30 minutes, and then I'll take a two-minute break or so to check in on your comments. Because, again, unfortunately, I'm not able to get uh, the chat window up here to make it work. So, again, we should be up and going. Let me double check. Uh, damn it. I should be, because I did that with stream uh, Streamlabs. Let me double check Streamlabs. back on nice and tight yeah i need to see because this one is the halo strap that comes standard with it and there's the other ones that are like they fit the back of your head better i need to see if they have any of those for rift uh, s because this headset's going to be discontinued soon so i might be able to pick up some of that stuff at a uh, at a lower price Will felt a swell of pride as she approached the cavern river its guiding banks once led her people to safety after the cinder night now all these years later she would follow it back. So while I was... Oh. So, okay, well, we'll wait. There you go. Okay. A little weird that it's just sort of like we're just gonna show you this. I guess it's more. Of, oh. Okay. Well, I'm in the sandbank now. Oh, there's a castle. Look at that. You need to get up there and see this. You can't? Oh, shit. So, when I was in the bathroom break, I went to see how many chapters there are. So, there are seven chapters, and I would say that we're coming up on the fourth chapter. The last chapter, of course, is the castle. And wouldn't you know it, there's the castle. We're nowhere near ready for that yet, though. We should be on chapter four right here. So, we're halfway through the game. So we got about another hour and a half, maybe two hours of gameplay left. Oh. Oh, if Charlie were here, because now it's nighttime and the stars are out in our library. And see, our window is getting ached, more and more. And her eyes grew heavy. She decided it best to set up camp and rest before journeying on to the castle. Hey, kid. Good. You're alive. The starving spoke as it circled the campfire. I'm happy, too. I'm happy that I'm alive. So you see, we're building up our uh, stained glass part. And it looks like we're going to have a reader here. But, you know, that's that's me. He's basically a uh, great value no face from Spirited Away. Uh, or I think it's like the Japanese title translated as like the spiriting away of uh, Sen to Chihiro, something like that. Or Chihiro to Sen, whatever it is. So, there we go. We're starting to get myself kind of grown up. Very pretty. All right. Will gasped in shock as the starving unveiled monstrous <sighs> wings and curled horns. It descended, talons gleaming. Oh, dear. I didn't mean to scare you. Stupid heartbeat. I'm not scared. Quill replied. I just didn't know starthings were feathered. This starving thing's gotta go, kid. The name's a Adurin. 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 Adurin, Harpy. No. 
We aren't feathered. Only me. I'm working on it. Let's just say choosing the wrong friends comes with a price. But you seem like a good friend to have. Thanks. I think. Quill readied her meal and paused to take in the strange winged creature who now called her friend. Yeah, this isn't Kate Redding. That's okay. As a field of stars bloomed over the sky, oh, that's their why campfire they're stars. conversations deepened. He's all I have. If I lose him, I don't know what I'll do, confided Quill. Adurin looked down at his wings. If I help you find him, can you help me? <sighs> if we can. We will, Starling. I mean, Adurin. Although Quill was far from the safety and comfort of her nook in the cottage, her exhaustion led her into a deep sleep. Hey, Ghostface. A lot of folks have been waiting for a reader like you to return. I know I have. I'm going to scout the castle up ahead. Keep her safe, okay? For both our sakes. I'll, I'll do what I can. So this is chapter four. Got a, oh, wow, we're right up on this one. Okay. Uh, well, we got to go to that there mine. Wake up, Buttercup. You got to get up and kick some ass. What's wrong, Buttercup? I know. Durin was nowhere to be found. But looming high on a distant bluff was the castle. A stark reminder of what mattered most. Quill okay. drew a deep breath and readied herself for the journey ahead. I was going to see if I could climb on top of that statue, but I can't. So here, you come over here. And then, okay, fine. I was trying to give you a place to take in the sights, little one. I was trying. All right, so let's see. You can climb all that. And, oh, we got that over there. Let's go check that out first. Yeah. Go check that out. It's going to be another portal, won't it? Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll go through the portal. Yep. So if we talk to talk to the toad frog thing, we'll probably get another uh, passage. And Upon uh, their return, yeah. it was evident the toad had not warmed to their company. You really are asking for it. When they fail this second test. Dibs on the runt for dinner. He muttered to no one in particular. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. And over here. And over here. enough I've heard through my little buds that you've made great strides on your journey the voice rang from the wood 
But the true test of twofold requires mastery from you both. Okay. Oh. So we gotta move you over here. And then move you right here. There you go. And then that will do that. Interesting. Hey, what you got? Okay, I see you, but that's a hell of a leap of faith. So, I guess it's only when it's scratched up that it allows me to climb it. I guess. I don't know. So, you go here. So, you can go here. That's fine. And you can actually change places. Here. You go. Oh, I see now. Okay. So what we're going to do... You go over here. And then now uh, we can move you over here. There you go. Hi. No, I, I, I'm, I'm working on it. There you go. Oh. I, well, we got it. We just need to not have you have you follow your untimely demise. All right. There you go. And then, yep. There you go. And let's see what that... Can we tell what that is? I have no idea what that is right there. Okay. Oh, well, it's something that uh, we need to figure out there. Uh, okay. Well, for now, you can just hop over there. Oh, we can actually shimmy. Yeah, do the shimmy. And we'll figure it all out and work our way over there. There you go. Down. You got it. You got it. Yeah, let go. And I have no idea what this does for you, but we can check it out. Uh, Pierce doesn't do nothing for you. That's fine. Uh-oh. So, let's see. There is that coming up. So, come on down. And then if I hit that, that'll cause that to come up. No, it won't. Interesting. Uh, what do I want to do? What's over here? Oh, well, there's a lever, but I think it's all these branches that won't let me get there. So what if I come over here? Okay. Okay. So you're gonna go that way. That's fine. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in that room. We'll have to go figure it out. Whew. And then this will cause... There you go. Claim your handsome reward. Or whatever it is. Okay. Oh, look at you. You've got a proper sword now. The arcane are enraged by your bond. The stronger it becomes, the harder you'll be to defeat. Reader, through this sword, Quill can channel your energy. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. So... Oh, 
we got a tag team. Yeah, it's gonna come back down. It's gonna take a sweet time, but it's a tag team we got going here. Yeah, there you go. All right. So now that we have this, we can shoot some stuff. Oh, we got this guy now. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff to fight, though. Oh, po 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 oh, not cool. Okay, so now, there you go, we pull that up. And now, we can have you come up here and you can shoot that. Shoot him! So that causes that to open that up, which is good. But it also now allows you to hop on this pla- Whoa! Whew. That could have been a disastrous little one. Let's try it again. So we're going to have you shoot that next, as soon as that platform comes down. That looks good. So that causes that to happen. Actually go the other way. There you go. And we need you to hit that one. Oh, you got the fancy rapier looking shit going on. Okay. So we did the switch, we did that. Uh, what do we do now? Well, we go back this way. Okay. And yeah, let's go ahead and give you a boost. No, uh, you're good right now. Oh, you were good. Now you dead. I, because they get... <laughs> no, they won't let me just do that. It's like the easiest thing they could have done when your sidekick is like six inches. It's not even six inches. Microscopic. You know, no. Uh, how do I get you up, though? I could do that, I guess. Yeah, there you go. And then you can make that jump again. I can't get you from there. You're way over there. My little, my little she, she -ra. It's like a He-Man. Not quite, though. So if I do that, you can hop, and then I think that's too far for you to hop back. Uh, what can I have you shoot now, though? Well, how do I get you up there? I suppose that's a better question. Okay, come back. Oh, look at you. You did the cheaty shit. 
So wait, how do you... I don't want you to have to die again. Because, like, I have to figure out how do I get you back. Because, like, I, I put you here. And that's useful, don't get me wrong. But I need you to somehow get back over there. But it's not obvious how I get you back over there. How do I get you back over there? Is there something I can shoot? Well, here, while you're here. So how do I... How the hell do I get you back over there? Because I see... Like, I, I don't see how I... Can I hop on you? So if I can hop on that... It doesn't really let me, though. Because it's like, if they could let me hop on that, that'd be kind of neat. So how do I... Sure, shoot it. What happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. To this rise of approximately no one. But I need you to... Hey, what you got? Okay. But I need you to get over there and not die. And there's no way for you to get over there and not die. Because that's apparently not enough for you. Because, see, he doesn't want to go. No, actually, no. Kill that guy. Kill that guy, because that will cause another one to spawn over here. Okay, that's fine. We got it. Now you can come... Okay, now that happened. Okay, cool. Now... Oh, actually, I need you to come over here. There you go. Now you can come over here. Come up the little ramp. There you go. And then that caused... Actually, before you do that, though... Give you a little sword boot. Okay. Now... You get to do all that. And then you can come off over here. And that... That didn't actually work. Well, how do I... Unless I come back and kill that guy, that might be what I have to do. Because I can shoot that guy now. And I can get him to sit on that. I think that'll work. Because this is the approved path. Nope. Try it again. There you go. Oh, try it again. Okay, cool. So this guy's going to come up here in a second. There you go. And now, you shimmy over. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. A little more. There you go. You got it. Now, you come over here. And I guess you can hop there. Yep, there you go. Give you one. That, that works too. I was going to give your sword a kiss, but that's fine. Be steadfast with this one, Rita. Advise the voice. Things will get difficult, but you mustn't close the book on your hero. Wow. Oh, goodness. You're cutting a rug, aren't you? Get your He-Man. Yeah. Okay, one more. There you go. So we're Hold back to the swamp. More assured, more ready for the dangers of the castle. The toad, however, was not yet impressed. Still just a rodent in champion's clothes, if you ask me. Doubt they'll find the last portal back here. 
<laughs> oh, fuck you. Yeah, oh, fuck you. No, you're supposed to hit the toad. There, good enough. I'll allow it. We know the portal back, but apparently Quill is kind of hit or miss with the shots. That's okay, though. Okay. Well, that was good. We now have a power. I'm sure it'll be very useful. So now I need to do, do all that again. Not a problem. Here, while you're here. There you go. I need to actually lower it for you. There you go. Make it a little easier. Okay, we're gonna lower it. Now you can go over here. No? Okay, we gotta lower that one too. Okay. Now. There you go. Huh? Oh, almost. Come on, you got it. Go. go. You got it. Yeah, go. Come on. Oh, you got to get. Okay, I see. You were too close. That's all you had to say. All I had to say, little homie. Now, why didn't that work? Uh. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. There you go. Oh, that would help if I raised you. That would help. Give you a little more time on the fall. Oh, can I just make it from here? Yeah, I could just do that. So now, okay, I see. Now I hop here, get on that, raise that up, and then that will give you enough to make that ledge. There you go. Not even a thank you? Okay. I see how it is. Oh, it smells in here? Well, I mean, you know, I do clean my sheets every week, and, uh, I Febreze and open windows. It's not for lack of effort on my part. Oh, shit. Oh. I think we found the problem. It's stink bugs. Oh. Oh shit, get out of there. Good enough. Okay. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. 
I, I feel like I've had enough for the night. I'm not sick. I'm well. I'm just ready to actually just go ahead and step out and just do that as an entrance. So I feel like I've had enough. Uh, I really do enjoy this game. I would love to revisit it. Uh, I just don't want to do it right now. We're halfway through. It feels like there's a lot more. So nothing wrong with it. Uh, let me go ahead and actually do a save. Because I should be able to do a save. Last respite. Or respite. However you want to pronounce it. Confirm. Uh, actually, okay, so it's automatically saved and we already did that. Yeah, the, the art looks fine. Cool. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to call it quits here for the night. And I'll just... Uh, actually, it's right about the time I would end it anyway. Perfect. Uh, I don't see why I can't pick this up tomorrow. I didn't look to see yet if uh, the new magic set called Heim, if that has the FAQ up. I'm sure it does. Or if it doesn't, it'll be very soon. Uh, if let's suppose that it is up right now, I will just do my personal rundown of the set on like Monday or Tuesday night. Because again, I don't see that being more than like a couple hours. And it's just me talking about magic cards. It doesn't appeal to everyone. I know it's not everyone's thing. Uh, so I can do that during off hours. I suppose we can call it that. So that's good. We'll go ahead and just quit app. That's good enough for me. Quit app. Up. Oh close quit app there you go and can we go to virtual yeah oh boy virtual desktops back oh god that still looks like dog shit what happens if i try it like this oh my phone's going off too okay i'll be right with you okay let me do a break real quick So here's what's up. We're going to take a break. Oh, Knox is saying, yeah, nothing crashed. That's good. Uh, so what I think happened, I'm running an older Kodak. Uh, it's a bunch of behind the scenes talk. Let me go ahead and do. Uh, that's actually stretch that out. Yeah, there we go. We're normalish. And I'll even put it right back over here. There you go. It looks like his normal-ish, except for that. So let me do that real quick, too. Yeah, that works. Uh, unfortunately, uh, of course, for me to have all this space and setup, I had to take my usual cam off. My, my usual uh, microphone. My usual microphone, so it's hanging out over there. Uh, so there you go. Nothing crashed this time, and I'm very thankful, very grateful that nothing crashed, because it'd be that much harder for me to tell what's going on, right? Um, so I think we'll just do that for tomorrow. We will go ahead and just pick up where we left off uh, early into early respite. And uh, we'll just pick it up there. So tomorrow, I'll go ahead and knock out Moss. It seems like we're having fun with it. We like it. Knox is uh, saying cute, such cute, much enjoy. Uh, Charlie liked it a lot. And uh, Sealant Spoken came in out of nowhere. Wonderful to have new viewers come in and chime in. So, what's going on over here? Okay, there I am. I was looking at Twitch. I'm like, wait, where am I? There I am. Uh, it's just a real bad lag from what I can tell. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and pick up here tomorrow. Uh, let's go ahead and say 5 p.m. as well. 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll update the schedule accordingly. Uh, I really do enjoy this game. It's proving to be actually more than I expected it to be. Because when I was reading the description of it, I was expecting it to be kind of more like Trover Saves the Universe. And to some extent it is, but it really take, takes advantage of VR, right? I mean, there are times in the game where I have to actually stand up and look into stuff and manipulate stuff to actually make it make sense. Compared to something like, uh, I keep calling it Rick and Morty. It's so so Rick and Morty-ish, right? Compared to something like Trover, um, yeah, it's just so radically different. So I'm really, 
And I do this all the time. I don't watch all my replays, but I'm actually really excited to watch this one to see how how it looks. Right. I mean, I some, I haven't watched them in a while, but I do have the Alex uh, streams saved on my computer. So, but this one though, it really takes advantage of like get up, walk around, move around, kind of manipulate this, right? With Alex, it's good. Don't get me wrong, but it's not to the same extent of like uh, uh, just manipulation of the game environment. So, I'm looking forward to picking this up again tomorrow. I hope you are too, and uh, we'll just worry about it then. So. Let's give thanks to Fox Knox and Charlie Main and to Sealance Spoken. Sealance uh, was in here for a little bit, said hi. Have fun playing. I'm sorry I uh, didn't catch you when you came in. My Twitch chat was kind of crappy on the VR set. And uh, I could do that tomorrow. I could look and see how I could make the VR uh, Twitch chat look a little better. I'm sure there are ways to do it. I just need to actually look at it. The way I had before was handy, but I'm sure I could do better things. Because uh, on the list, right? So this is game number four or five on the list. Let me look. This on the list is game number four. So this is Moss from 2018. And then we have Watch Dogs. We will play that on Sunday at uh, 5 p.m. Central. Uh, that's from 2014. So we got, we're going to finish Moss tomorrow because I think we've agreed that it's a good game and we'll keep on going. Uh, there's only also, we're halfway through the game. And there's Watch Dogs on Sunday. I don't have anywhere near as high expectation for Watch Dogs, but I'd love to be proven wrong. Uh, and then on Sunday's stream, I'll, I'll talk about the next two games. Uh, one of them is a recent indie darling, and the other is an old game from 2012 that I, I, it seems like it has a fun premise. So we got that coming up next weekend. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised. So so number six and number seven next weekend. I wouldn't be surprised if we wanted to play a lot more of number six. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, we'll talk about that later, though. It'll be fine. Uh, and we have one of the older games coming up on... Uh, let's see, when was that one out? We're going to get to our older games eventually. We have two games coming up that are from 2009. Oh, no, not 2009 being old, right? Uh, one of them is a classic. Uh, it's a classic. Well, it's a classic modern classic, right? We'll just call it that. And, uh, yeah, we got all kinds of good stuff coming up. Now, are any of them going to be as cute as Moss? Uh... The others, a couple of them are cute in their own way, but they're not moss cute. I'll put it like that. They, you know, one is, is done cutesy, but not moss cute. And the other I can look at, well, that one's kind of cute, but it's its own, I don't know, it's all its own special kind of cute. So we'll worry about that when we get there. But of course, we do have plenty of other uh, typical uh mini bloody games on the list too so there's something for everyone uh so this game we do have come on unlock face id do the thing there you go we do have uh two more vr games on the list i'm not going to tell you what they are but we do have two games left on the list outside of this that are vr um and we'll just worry about that when we get there Hopefully, by me doing my little bit of Google Foo and tinkering with this tomorrow, I could figure out a way to have actually reliable uh, Twitch chat so I can be more engaged with y'all. Because I'm sorry that I'm not as engaged with y'all, but at the same time, it seems like y'all are uh, enjoying the game as is. And of course, you'll have other stuff going on. I can't ask you to, to give me the entire your entire attention span, right? So it's it's all good, man. But we're having fun, and that's what matters. Uh, I've rambled on long enough, so that's the plan. We will pick this up tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow, not tomorrow morning. Good God, we will pick this up tomorrow evening, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. As far as I know, I'm free then, and uh, we'll finish off Moss. So that'll take about another two, maybe three hours. Now that we've gotten back to using this, hopefully, we won't have as much technical issue, because that's what held us back for a while was getting everything set back up, right? Because it's like, how do I do this? Oh, yeah, and it's kind of getting readjusted to that. But now that we're back on the horse, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Thank you all again for watching so much. Uh, 
this was a good game. This was a good time. I hope y'all are having fun too. Uh, I can't wait to actually watch the replay on this. This is going to be really fun. Again, my name is Nick. I am another bearded white dude on Twitch. Thank you all again so much for watching, and I'll see y'all tomorrow night when we finish off Moss. I'll see you then.